What is one of the most important songs you can learn when you're beginning to play the banjo? Let's talk about it. Hello guys, thank you so much for pushing that play button. If you're new to my channel and you love banjo content, please consider smashing that subscribe button, guys, because that's all I post on here. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about one of the most important songs I feel like you can learn when you're beginning to play the banjo. And it ain't necessarily the song itself is what it teaches you is the chord progression through the song. It has every basic chord that you're going to need to know when you're beginning to learn the banjo. And if you learn the chord progression of this song, you can sit and practice it and you don't even need any right hand techniques. You can just take your right hand and strum across your strings. Uh, you really don't need anything with your right hand, but it also, it'll teach you the chords. All right, without further ado, the song is actually Rocky Top. If you'll learn the chord progression in Rocky Top, the chord progression is C, E minor, D, and then open G again. Then when you get to the chorus, it's E minor, it's D, then you go to an F, then to a C. So you can sit and sing this song and strum on the banjo or whatever you're playing on, but you can go through these chords, and these are the chords you need to know now. One thing that you can do if you get into playing it is you're playing the E minor, which is the outer two strings, your first string and your fourth string on the second fret is all it is. Um, you're strumming the E minor. Well, instead of going to a D, which is the third string on the second fret, uh, the second string on the third fret and the first string on the fourth fret, that's a D chord, if I can show them. Um, and then if you want to do the full D chord, you can lay your index finger down on the fourth string on the fourth fret. But I always do just a partial D chord when I'm doing this. But you can lay the full one down. Uh, and then the F chord is uh, the same as the D, except on the third string, you got your pinky on the first string, your ring finger on the fourth string on the third fret, your uh, middle finger on the third string on the second fret, and your first finger on the second string of the first fret. Now, next thing you gotta do is learn the song. So, strum but anyways you get my point and it goes through every major chord that you need to learn as a beginner and as you fretting them as you're singing the song kind of get you used to them um i think once i figured it out that was like i always go through this song uh at least two or three times a week just kind of strumming and, and going through my chord progression on the chorus of it uh you start out with an e minor which is like i said the outside two strings on the second fret uh, the first and the fourth string. So, um, Rocky Top, Rocky Top, then to a D, a D, which we talked about what that was. You'll always be F, home, sweet home, C, D, and you stay on the C. Then when you go Rocky Top Tennessee, on the 10, you go to an F chord. So you say Rocky, Rocky Top Ten, shit, Rocky Top Tennessee, Rocky Top, Rocky Top Tennessee. So anyways, guys, it's a good song to know, to learn, and go through chord progressions and you really ain't got to do a whole lot with your left hand. You can, you can just strum single strokes and if you want to you can get into rolls like you can get which I ain't got my I ain't got my picks on me but if you're doing three finger style where you're uh, uh, pick with your thumb and then pull the bottom two strings you know the uh, If you're doing that with the with the picks, you can do that as well. I mean, anything you want to get into and make it a little more difficult, 
to do that with it, you can. So here we go. Wish that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on rocky top and old telephone wheels. Rocky top. Uh, just a quick note there. I thought uh, you all might find that interesting. It, I mean, it helps out tremendously. What I was going to tell you earlier, and I forgot to put this in there. What I was going to tell you earlier, when you go from the EM, E minor, an EM, when you go from an EM chord to your D, if you're working on a D7 chord, which is the um, second string first fret and the third string second fret, which is a D7, you can also substitute there if you if you want if you're trying to work on the D7. So EM Rocky Top you'll always be. If you want to substitute the D7 instead of the full seven chord down here. Also you can fret with a finger. Alright guys, anyways, I was out here working on my claw hammer. I'm, that's what I'm actually working on right now is Rocky Top playing it on the claw hammer banjo. I'm going through the uh, going through the song playing it on claw hammer. So and if that come across my head because I remember when I first started out, once I uh, started playing Rocky Top, I was like, man, that would be a good song just to strum and learn the chords on. And that's what I started doing is I would play that song. And you can play it as slow as you want to play it or as fast as you want to play it, but it'll make you, make you have to change the chords, which is great. Just made a new chord up it sucked anyways guys thank y'all so much for pushing that play button if this has helped you please leave me a comment smash that like button guys and we will see you all in another video